Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I'd like to show you a really quick technique that I think is really important and powerful. Uh, as you can see, I have this assembly and this assembly has a crank on top of it. And the crank, oops, the crank rotates this way, around like that. But I really don't want it hitting this obstruction here. I want to limit it to um, within, let's say, 90 degrees of one of these faces. <clears throat> so I'm going to use a angular dimension with limits. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called A. That's my angular limit. And I'm going to set it at 20 degrees like that. And I'm going to make sure that the dimensionality is angle. So there is angle A. There we go. Then I'm going to go into the angular position uh, dimension in assemblies. And I'm going to select a face like so. And select another face like so. And I'm going to put in angle A. There it is. And um, I'm going to flip it around like that. There we go. So angle A is now in control of the rotation of my crank. But I don't want it to go below, let's say, 10 degrees. And I don't want it to go above 120 degrees. So actually, I've got a lower limit of 10 and an upper limit of 120. There it goes. There we go. All right. And say OK. So as you can see, the... Um, dimension, the uh, assembly constraint dimension is here. And if I go to my um, part navigator, you'll see that my angle is here. So if I go 15 degrees, looks good. If I go five degrees like this, the dimension turns red because I'm below the angle. And if I go to 130 degrees, or let's go to 119 first. There we go. That's fine. 119 will work. But if I go above 120, because I set the limit at 120, then I get the red indicator that I'm violating the limit. So there you have it. The angular dimension has limits. And if you go to the uh, constraint navigator, you can double click on that angular dimension and see what's going on with it. And so that I find very useful in order to ensure that we're creating a model that won't go past the limits, or at least if it does, it'll tell you. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I hope it edifies you, and I hope you can uh, like and subscribe to my channel because it's growing and it's nice to uh, spend some time doing this. And when you like and subscribe and share it with friends, they know more about the website and a lot, of, a lot more people know about NX, which is a fabulous tool. Thanks again. Oh, this I'm doing this video on the day before a vote, voting day here in the United States. And hopefully everybody here in the United States votes, votes their conscience, and we all participate in, the, in our democracy. Thank you very much.